Good morning, Crypto Boomers. It's the voice of the blockchain here, the Crypto Commander-in-Chief, Champagne Crypto, back with another live stream. Guys, touch the buttons for me that like to subscribe, the post notification bell, the ding ding. Guys, today we're talking about Block Ones, the developers behind EOS. Will they be launching a social network similar to Steam this weekend? You know, they're having a big conference out there in Washington, D.C., June 1st. And uh, the rumor is it's going to be the biggest announcement Block One has done since they announced the EOS token and the EOS blockchain itself. Today, we're going to be diving deeper into that and see what kind of uh, hints there are to what they're supposedly about to release. Shout out to George Rubio. I see you, Block One in June. We'll be talking about that today, guys. And uh, we'll also be checking out the coin market caps and seeing which ones are booming and dooming. Guys, again, touch the buttons for me, the like, the subscribe, the post notification bell, the ding ding. This is a live broadcast. We're here every single weekday with the good crypto word. Uh, early, mo- late mornings or early afternoons on the weekdays, guys. Make sure you bookmark the page. You know the algorithms there on YouTube are not favorable to the boomers and those that are trying to push alternative media so it's up to you to bookmark the page and take it upon yourself to come check us out here late mornings early afternoons once again shout out to george and shout out to the rest of the boomers that are tuning into this live broadcast we're preheating the oven here on the crypto oven 450 and beyond we'll be talking about if block one is going to be launching a social network on EOS. Uh, again, they're doing a major announcement June 1st out there in Washington, D.C. And it uh, looks like the EOS community is going to be gathering out there for the big announcement. And uh, apparently, it's going to be one of the biggest announcements since they announced EOS itself. Shout out to Main Event Kaboom. Shout out to Dolphin 134 Kaboom. All the boomers are here, the original boomers of the blockchain, guys. Don't let any frauds take the slang and uh, not give credit to where credit's due. The original boomers are here. The original crypto maniacs, the original young Satoshis, the original Nakamoto families here. Shout out to Main Event Dolphin 134, George Rubio, and all the silent lurkers that are tuning in, guys. Go ahead and drop a comment, guys. Stop lurking in the crypto closet. Letting it, let us know that you're booming with the best of them out here. Let me drop a bomb for you guys. I hinted everyone that held them uh, Cardano bags to invest a bit in EOS while we wait for a few Cardano to get going, says George Rubio. Uh, listen, you know, EOS keeps going uh, more ahead and ahead of the competition. Uh, Cardano, I'm not sure what's going on out there, guys. Uh, today we're talking about EOS and block one and that's the talk of this week uh, along with the boom that has occurred there on the market cap in general it looks like most of the coins are in the green today it looks like most of the coins are in the green today let me turn off these coins here on the screen share my display i hit refresh over here on coin market cap let's be uh, up to speed with the today's current mathematics Uh, check out the prices how healthy they're looking shout out to terra tv btc moon is coming it's already up a little uh, not a little bit uh, significantly in the past few months we'll be talking about that as well you got the market cap for all the bags in the whole globe right now at 279 billion we're inching closer to 300 billion dollars boomers bitcoin dominance is at 55.3 okay this shows me that there is a little more confidence in altcoins you know that we were close to 56 57 not too long ago uh, we topped off at 60 percent this year Uh, So there is a little confidence there with the alternative coins. Bitcoin looking strong there at 87.18. Strong, stronger than I expected. I'll be honest with you, boomers. That's a good thing. Thumbs up. Ether uh, is up 4% today at 283. It looks like uh, Vitalik took a little whey protein yesterday and did at least a set. You know, Vitalik's looking skinny, guys. Don't look like Vitalik. Throw some more weight on the bar, guys. I need you guys raising your testosterone levels and uh, stop stopping the, the soy ingestion out there. Stop consuming soy out there. Shout out to Crypto Stash. Shout out to Jigger Romes, Oscar Olivares, and the rest of the boomers out there. Let me drop a bomb for all you crypto the voice here the crypto commander in chief guys if you haven't subscribed to the channel if you haven't uh shared like this do it now uh and follow all the leaders here kaboom champ cheers to the alt says jigaromes yeah the alts are looking sexy i need a walk and a boom please sir shout out to uh crypto stash let's give him a crypto walk and a crypto kaboom boom crypto stash another one of our decorated officials here that's uh frequenting the population of the chat box i appreciate you as well 
You got uh, Bitcoin Cash is up as well. Bitcoin Cash is looking strong these past weeks, guys. Bitcoin Cash is looking strong these past weeks. Is it due uh, in part to their association uh, name brand with uh, with Bitcoin? You know, is it do our young boomers or not even young boomers, our newbies, these crypto noobs, uh, they're getting confused here and buying the Bitcoin Cash instead of the Bitcoin because the price is much cheaper. Uh, that could be the case. I don't know, but I know that Bitcoin Cash seems to be here to stay. You got EOS continues to rise at $8.12. It's made significant gains this past week, again, because there is a large major announcement about to be made by Block One. The people behind EOS uh, will be talking about if that's going to be a social network or something else. Uh, no one really knows, uh, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, Binance. At $33, uh, Binance looking strong. Bitcoin Satoshi Vision, headed by the fake Toshi, what most of the community is calling them now. Uh, it's at $201. I came across this article over here, uh, which I found ironic, that someone in China just filed a copyright for the Bitcoin white paper. You know that Craig Wright did that just a, a week or two ago, trying to claim that he's Satoshi, and uh, the U.S. Copyright Office uh, responded. Uh, they said something to... This is what they said. Uh, in a case which a work is registered under a pseudonym, the copyright office does not investigate whether there's a provable connection between the claimant and the uh, su- su- pseudonymous author. So, you know, it doesn't prove that he's actually uh, Satoshi, you know. So now someone in China did the same thing. And, you know, John McAfee has been encouraging uh, somewhere around here. I read this. John McAfee was encouraging everybody, uh, you know, the community to flood the copyright office with claims. There we go. Uh, Where is it? Somewhere in this article. I know I just read it before I went online, but I'll have this link down below so you guys can check it. But uh, again, just because someone makes a claim doesn't mean that proves that there's a Toshi or anything like that. Uh, BCH looking really good. Little soy boy uh, Ver might be right as he sees Bitcoin cash steam rolling in Bitcoin in price. Yeah, it's looking good. I mean, I, I you know I can't deny it. The price is up. The price is up, and uh, you know it's here to stay. Uh, I'm not holding the bag, but I recognize that it's up. Uh, Cryptozilla says had Turkish kebab beef for dinner. No soy. That's right. Increase the meat consumption out there, guys, uh, and make sure you raise up your uh, testosterone levels out there. Don't believe the memes out here with so much this plant based memes out there. You need to get a little bit of complete proteins out there uh, and uh, continue to raise your testosterone levels. I don't want you looking like Vitalik, guys. Uh, Bitcoin Cash is much fat- faster and cheaper to use than Bitcoin. That could be true. Uh, R- George Rubio says, rumor another Neo Project ontology moving to EOS. Wow, I didn't know that. That's a rumor ontology is moving to EOS. That's interesting. I did hear that Switchio, that decentralized exchange, was moving to EOS as well. I don't know if that's true. Uh, Crypto Stash says, nice to see Neo moving. Neo's up. Neo is up, uh, you know, significantly as well. You know, uh, the champ has a little baby bag of Neo, not too much. I like Neo. Champ, do you stake your EOS at all? Any EOS airdrops coming soon? Uh, yeah, I do stake the EOS uh, to keep the token secure and uh, reconnection successful. We just got hit with a soy EMP. It started as soon as we started talking about the soy boys out there. They hit us up with a, an EMP, knocked us off on, offline, but we're back. Uh, man down, champ has been clubbed. Now I'm back. Uh, we got man, a soy boy, uh, soy EMP, maybe a bagel bomb. You never know. Uh, we stepped on a landmine, but it's all, it's all right, guys. We're back. We're back. Give me a 10-4 if you read me. Give me a 10-4 if you read me. Uh, we'll be talking about Block One possibly launching a social network. And I was responding to, uh, was it? Someone asked me if I'm, if a uh, nano asked me if I'm staking my EOS. And uh, I responded with the Shintai. Uh, yes, that I do stake EOS and that I also use Shintai and the EOS Rex. Uh, those are ways to uh, loan your tokens out and get some passive income there uh, as well. EOS staking, you were saying. Uh, so, yeah, I do stake. I do stake Nano and uh, I do uh, use the, the Shintai. You need, you need to unstake your tokens and lend them to a contract. So, in that sense, it's not as secure as getting the EOS Rex because the EOS Rex lets, lets you stay, lets you buy the Rex with your token staked. Uh, so it's more secure, okay? Uh, I talked about that. I use EOS Rex not directly through the EOSRex.io website. I use it through the EOS Authority wallet, uh, which is easier to use. Um, and I've shared that in the past. Maybe I'll do that on, on another broadcast. 
Uh, ten four says uh, Queens races. Yeah, we got knocked offline, but we're back. We're back. Uh, let's go back here to the prices. EOS at a, uh, eight twelve. Litecoin, Litecoin, Litecoin at one hundred and seventeen, looking good as well. Uh, you know, I like Litecoin. I know uh, Mark D has Light and uh, Bitcoin Cash. I think Mark D is uh, more into uh, Bitcoin Cash, if I'm not mistaken. I see Litecoin and Bitcoin Cash kind of competing against each other here. Uh, so far, the winner seems to be BCH. Although uh, I'm the one that's holding the Litecoin, so. Uh, hopefully they both move. Binance is up as well at thirty-three dollars. Uh, Satoshi Vision at two hundred and one. I just shared with you that someone in China just filed a copyright as well, uh, like the fake Toshi, the, the supposed fake Toshi did. Uh, Stellar is at fourteen cents, and then Cardano. Cardano's at nine cents. There you go. Well, will Cardano do something? Because EOS guys is moving fast. Okay, there's a lot of development. The community. There's a lot of people. Uh, working on this eos blockchain guys doing dApps there's a lot of movement out there i gotta say uh right now eos seems to have the, one of the most movements uh in the top 10 if you ask me and cardano still hasn't even launched a dap okay it's all hype at this moment and you know it very well may be a great blockchain but listen at this uh pace it's gonna take a lot more for them to catch up up you got tron at three cents uh, you got Monero at $96, Dash at $172, IOTA at $0.52. Cents. And you got Cosmos. This is up 28%. I don't know much about Cosmos. This is a new kid on the block. I'm going to keep an eye on this one. I've noticed this one come into the top 20 and stay there. And uh, it's looking good. I don't know much about it. I'm going to keep my eyes on this one. But it's definitely performing like a slugger. Kaboom to Queen's Races. He just dropped $2 here in the population of the chat box. Some ducats in the bucket thank you so much queens our most gratuitous member and uh queens have you posted that video of you racing and blowing out your motor uh i'm sure the boomers would want to check that out guys you know uh queens documents drag races street races out there in streets of new york city apparently he uh was rad racing out there and blow out blew out the motor i think he was going to put out a video for us so we can check that out uh anyhow let me know about Cosmos, guys, if you know any more information about this one, because uh, it's been moving. Uh, Queens just mentioned Neo. Neo's been performing like a slugger as well, $14.63 uh, currently. I like Neo. I got a baby bag. And Neo's like got a really sexy wallet. I'll tell you this much. But uh, rumor is, ONT, Ontology's moving over to EOS. So, you know, you know the deal. And uh, what's up as well? Bat is up. You know, Bat. You know how much I like Bat. Bat is, you know, another one that's been used. Guys, download the Brave browser right now. Download the Brave browser right now. Don't call yourself a crypto maniac and you're not using a crypto-based application. Guys, it makes no sense. You want crypto adoption? Then go ahead and uh, do it yourself, okay? Uh, follow, you know, set an example out there and, you know, use the Brave browser and earn some Bats. It's real simple. It's just like the Chrome. Shout out to Rafterman. Yo, champ. Boom. Thank you again, Queens Races. Guys, follow the leader here, Queens Races. The Super Chat's open if you'd like to show love to the champ, the rest of the Nakamoto family, the young baby boomer, uh, young champagne, uh, the young boomette uh, is here as well. And uh, show love, show love, guys. We got to get them whole milk. We got to get them diapers. You know the deal. Uh, yeah, it's up. I posted only the second race I did because my GoPro was acting up in my first run. So yeah, guys, go check out Queens' channel if you'd like to check out some street drag races. I like to uh, show love to all the boomers here that are also YouTubers and that they post up videos. Uh, you know what it is. We're a community of crypto brothers here. And uh, you know, I encourage you guys to come out the crypto closet, drop a positive comment here. Let me know what you're shaking and baking with uh, so that I can send the boomers your way as well. Shout out to Queens. Thank you so much, Queens. I appreciate you. Guys, today we're talking about Block One. Block One is the entity behind EOS. They're the ones that, uh, you know, they develop EOS. I believe it's head by Dan Larimer. I know Dan Larimer is the, the chief engineer, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Dan's the same man behind Steam blockchain, behind BitShares, and uh, now it's EOS. And all those are one of the most, uh, the top, out of the top five most used blockchain, uh, those three, EOS, Steam, and BitShares are the most used, more used, have more transactions every day than Bitcoin itself. So it's something that uh, it's, is worth checking out, okay? Uh, Nano Joe says, is EOS Authority one of the more secure wallets? I'm thinking about using Simple EOS Wallet. Simple EOS is, is legit. Uh, I, I actually downloaded and installed it, but you know, I, I find it easier just to use the EOS Authority Wallet right there online and you can connect through Scatter. If you haven't used Scatter, I'm, you know, uh, it's completely legit. It's a way to uh, allow you to access uh, these sites that 
uh, write contracts to the EOS blockchain. So, you know, right now, my favorite way to you know manage the wallet get airdrops check out the eos rex you can even create a new account there's a lot of things you could do via eos authority uh you know do it there eos authority is the one i've been using uh in the past i used uh what did i use there was other ones that i was using uh the gray mass wallet and uh eos voter uh but you know i found that eos authority is is probably the best one right now as of late as of late uh, but you got to have Scatter. Again, Scatter is a uh, a plugin uh, that allows you to access or very basically manages your keys and allows you to log in. If you know anything about MetaMask, it's similar to that. Uh, I tried using Scatter and got confused. Now, no, it's, it should be easy. Scatter, like, basically it, it encrypts your keys. And, it, and you know, once you go to a website, it allows, uh, you know, a an EOS website like EOS Authority, for instance, you can log in there using your scatter and, uh, you know, it's one, two, three, you just allow it to log in. So it's, it's, it's legit. I'll, I'll tell you scatter's legit. It took me a while to, to actually, uh, trust scatter. I didn't know like if it was legit or not, but, um, if you've used steam in the past, it's similar to steam connect, uh, the same way you would like log into like drug wars or to steam it, uh, or to a, another dap that uses steam blockchain, you know, steam connect is comparable to scatter. But, uh, you know, Scatter not only manages keys for EOS, but I think it manages keys for, uh, you can have it manage keys for e Ethereum and Tron as well. Uh, don't you call EOS Ethereum on steroids, champ? It certainly, uh, you know, seems that way. And yeah, I've, I've, I've ref you know, I've called it that many times. EOS, Ethereum on steroids. Uh, it looks like, uh, you know, it's, it's going to bring competition to ETH. So let's go ahead and talk about this. The big announcement, okay? Block one. Uh, let me show you this uh, article over here on um, Crypto Globe. This was posted on the 28th, okay? And I have this one linked down below so you guys can check it out. EOS price surges another 14%. Is Block One launching a social network on June 1st? Is Block One launching a social network on June 1st? This is posted by Siamak Maznavi, if I'm pronouncing that right. On June 2nd, 2018, Cayman Islands company Block One released the first version of EOS.io, the blockchain protocol software that used to run the EOS network. As we get closer to June 1st, the one-year anniversary of this event and the date for a major announcement by Block One, there are signs that the company is planning to launch an EOS-powered social network. Okay, guys, if you guys know anything about Steam, okay, Steam is a decentralized social media network. The Steam token runs on the Steam token and the Steam back dollar token. I, you know, I encourage everybody to check it out. It's one of my favorite blockchains, and it's a great example of how uh, crypto could be used uh, within uh, the social media networks and within blockchains to uh, upvote uh, content, uh, comments. Uh, you know, there's so many things you could do with Steam. Very, very... Uh, exciting blockchain uh, that was created by Dan Larimer and apparently they're going to make a new and improved something like Steam on now on EOS and it's a major big announcement uh, $2 uh, for the little champ says uh, Rafterman. thank you so much Rafterman thank you so much uh, so let's talk about what's happening here so this is, has not been confirmed or denied okay uh, Block One's June 1st announcement the first tease about EOS related uh, event announcement on June 1st in Washington, D.C. came from Block One on March 25th. You can see this little uh, commercial trailer, a little teaser that they uh, put out. I'm not going to play it right now, but you guys can check it out via the link. And uh, this is what the Block One CTO, Dan Larimer, posted on Twitter February 20th. He says, what if you could decentralize social media more than steam it? The future of social media is thousands of blockchains under independent governance coordinating with interchain communication behind a seamless user experience however in general most of larimer's more juicy comments have been on telegram on march 1st he posted a public roadmap will disclose everything we've been working on and will be working on a date has been set march 13th he said when the time comes out marketing will be beyond anything seen in crypto but before you can make, you can market, you need an onboard strategy that can convert user and a service that can retain them. He also tweeted on March 25th or, uh, or commented on the telegram. He says, June will be the biggest since 
Biggest news since the IO, uh, the EOS IO announcement. He also said on March 28th that Trump's advisors know about Block One and everyone in D.C. wants to talk with them. Okay, and uh, on March 28th, he says that they will not sell that data to advertiser. And on uh, they also said that they will not connect collect data like Facebook does. Okay, we also know that Block One has been awarded a trademark for Meos M E O S. Here's a particular description of the purpose of this trademark, providing temporary use of a non-downloadable downloadable web and mobile application software for virtual community, social networking, photo sharing, electronic media sharing, and encrypted or otherwise secured messaging and media transmission, computer services, namely creating online virtual communities for users to organize groups and events participate in discussions and engage in social business and community networking, hosting an interactive website that allows users to create profiles and participate in a social network in the field of blockchain and distributed ledger technologies. Come boom to that. that sounds exciting. Boom. The bitch just dropped me 20 SEKs. Uh, I don't know what type of currency that is. And I'm sure you said it before. Uh, but I completely forget. He says June will be huge. Let me drop two bombs for you. Here goes one. Here goes another one. And while we're at it, let's throw a sniper rifle out there. He threw me $20, $20 worth of SEK, whatever that is. Maybe you can let us know. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Let me drop some ducats here in the bucket. Guys, follow the leaders out here. Boom the bits has uh, shown gratuity here in the population. He uh, so has Rafterman and so has Queen's Races. Don't show up to the crypto live stream with empty hands. I need you guys with a bottle, with a smoke, uh, with something out here. Don't come and consume and not drop a little bit in the bucket out there, guys. At least a positive comment. Uh, Boom the Bits is an EOS boomer. Thank you so much, Boom the Bits. All aboard the boomer crypto train says double X. Let me go ahead and drop the train for you guys. All aboard. All aboard the boom train. G, keep the Facebook, Twitter, IG, uh, etc. rich and controlling. Who gets to be one of their PC members or a decentralized social media platform? Tough one. That's right. I mean, listen, I'm not interested in this global coin by Facebook. I'm not interested in Twitter or the gram, guys. I'm interested in the future, which is blockchain tech, decentralization, and things that don't censor the community, guys. We need uh, uncensorable, immutable ledgers out there. So, you know, uh, forget about the fake book. In, in YouTube at this pace is is losing as well hopefully this social media platform if they're about to unveil it uh has video capability as well which i expect it to have uh steam's been doing that stuff for three years dan abandoned that too not sure if i believe the hype and that that's you know what that's uh you know that's understandable here main events of steam Asaurus, he's been using steam for a while and dan left that project and that's true that's true uh but let's see. Let's see where it all goes to. I mean, I think that this has a probability of kabooming. I'll tell you why. Because Block One, they just purchased 3.3 million EOS of RAM. That's a lot of money worth of RAM. And uh, why would they be investing so much? Why would they be spending so much bags out there? It's pro- probably because they believe it could be a boomer. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. Buy yourself some EOS, champs. Thanks for what you do, says Nano. B- kaboom. Thank you, Nano. He just dropped me exactly $8.10. Uh, that's so I could buy an EOS token. Thank you so much, Nano. I appreciate you so much, guys. Let me throw uh, some coins off the ceiling there for that. Nano Joe just dropped me $8.10 so I could buy another EOS. You know, I'm an I'm a EOS bag holder. A, a, you know, original there on the Genesis blockchain of EOS. A pioneer, if you will. Uh, you know, I like it and I like, you know, steam and that's one of the main reasons I got into, uh, uh, EOS and bit shares because, you know, steam attracted me so much and I see so much possibilities with something like steam. I see the holes in the boat with steam and hopefully this could be something like a new and improved steam. Hey champ, are you going to sell on the news? I'm considering taking 20% off the table. If it pumps enough says Tyler D and listen, that probably wouldn't be a bad strategy. I've considered that. Uh, but I'm not going to do that. And I'll tell you why Tyler, because I, I'm, I would like to be here for the long gun. So if this is going to stick around, uh, I would like to position myself to uh, be able to be an influencer in that social ne- network. If uh, it does come to fruition, you know, I wish that I would have been on steam the, at the very beginning. 
you know the you know if you get in there early you you huddle soon you huddle maybe you could you know be a, a bigger influencer so i would stick around me personally uh being that i post every day i'm excited about you know a social media network or a video platform like theta and things like that so I, i'm not I, I don't intend to sell uh i'm not going to be trying to take you know short term profits but for someone that's not posting much and that's just swing trading it may not be a bad idea i'll tell you that much they say buy the rumor sell the news so you know you know maybe maybe some people will follow that so that's my answer there tyler d thank you nano joe i appreciate the eight dollars and ten cents thank you so much uh boom the bit says he's hodling to the moon there you go there you go So talking about that 3 million of EOS RAM, let me go ahead and and, uh, talk more about that. In in this article, it says another bit of clue arrived yesterday, uh, well, on May 27th, when an EOS block producer, EOS New York, released, revealed the following tweet that Block One purchased 3 million EOS worth of RAM. So that's a lot, okay? uh, I think it's 32 gigs of of RAM. And if I'm not mistaken, in the three years that Steam has been around, they've used up about 64 gigs. So, you know, the devs out there are saying that, you know, that 32 gigs could support a, so could theoretically support a social network for the next coming year. So again, this is just speculation based on the clues that we've seen via Telegram and, you know, things like this purchase of the EOS RAM, you know, it could be something else. Okay. It could be another announcement, but, uh, so far, those clues uh, suggest that Block One may be planning to uh, do a social media network. Um, so they're, they, they're planning to announce several things on June 1st. A roadmap, EOS IO 2.0, an EOS power social network with a free EOS account for every user to make onboarding easier and perhaps some free EOS tokens to get them started. This is the speculation. And I think that you know getting a, on an account is something that they need to clear up there's a barrier to entry to things like steam and eos you need to have some sort of a resource to have an account it costs just to even have a wallet out there so uh, that's one thing that i think that thwarted the growth of steam that you know was not that easy to get an account sometimes you had to wait or whatnot Uh, so if they can make it an easy onboarding process and uh, a way to get people to start earning eos immediately you know i think it may be a winner Uh, but i do consider what a main event said that you know steam's been working for a while and dan abandoned that one so you know why would we go to a new one that dan made you know that i understand that type of uh train of thought but you know it's been quiet out there on steam now uh main event and although i still use it i want to be on a blockchain where there's more comments and there's more posts and there's more action more transactions In Nano Joe says, uh, for those that use Telegram, there's an EOS price talk group, 4,000 members, very os- optimistic on price predictions. I would as well. Uh, at the price that it's at right now, $8.10, it's still uh, well below its all-time high. I believe the all-time high for EOS was somewhere around uh, $20, if I'm not mistaken. Let's check out ATH Coin Index to get that information. You can see here an all-time high coin index that the all-time high for EOS was $22. So right now it's at eight bucks. All-time high was back there in uh, f- mm, April of 2018. And uh, so, you know, I think it, I, I still got room to at least double up. At least double up. Again, no one knows. You know, don't don't take my word for it. You know, do your own research and, you know, figure it out on your own. I, I mean, for all I know, it could doom and gloom. But uh, the way I look at it, based on what I'm seeing here, my opinion is that, you know, it could still grow. So I agree with you, Nano. Thank you so much for the gratuity, Nano. I appreciate you. Drive Pay is going to change the game for BSV, a ripple killer. I'm not interested in BSV. I'm not interested in any comp- uh, competitors to ripple. I, I really don't care. I'm going to be honest with you. Champ, what do you think can force Bitcoin to be used globally? A market crash or a good BRC price like 100 k uh, right now, I think it's more crypto friendly applications, right? Uh, I think that, you know, Bitcoin is already being used more and more globally. I mean, it's, it continues to grow. The wallets continues to grow. I think that uh, what we need to do as a community is create an ecosystem where there's all kinds of different dApps. And I see just Bitcoin as in the middle as the, the reserve currency that all these tokens basically trade against. 
So more value on the alternative tokens is what I would say. <laughs> Boom the bitch says only crackheads buy PSP. That's funny. That's a funny one. Yeah, Zenyatta. I know Zenyatta's a, a boomer, and I've seen him here, uh, you know, f- for some time. So, you know, if you're a believer in BSV, you know, you know that's that's up to you. But I'm not. I want nothing to do with it, and I'm not a I'm not a believer. I'll be honest with you. I don't see anybody really using it. And then when it comes to Ripple, if you've hanged out here enough, you know that you know. I think Ripple's like nothing but uh, toxic radiation to the crypto markets. I just like the tech price doesn't attract me. Yeah, I just, uh, you know, I, I don't know anything about the tech, so I can't comment that. But I'll tell you about the community. The community's toxic. Uh, you know, starting with the the leader. I, I mean, I'm not feeling his energy. And yesterday I had to throw someone out the box that was shilling BSV, you know, and he said some profanities to the champ. So it seems like people in that community are kind of toxic. Uh, so, you know, if you believe it, you could do whatever you like there, Zenyatta. But I'm not behind that one. Shout out to Jerib. It's been a while, Jerib. Boom. Uh, B1 just pr- purchased 3.3 million EOS on RAM. They're launching the app on June 1st. Yeah, I just said that a few minutes ago. We just uh, shared that. Uh, so the speculation is what what could be, what is this RAM's going to be used for? It's a lot of RAM. 32 gigs, I'm, I'm understanding. And some devs said that, you know, that could be enough to support a social network for at least a year. Uh, comparing that to Steam, I think Steam in the past three years have used, used about 64 gigs of, uh, of memory. Shout out to Jerib, guys. Uh, he's behind Horace Page. And we did an interview a few months back or maybe a year ago. It's been some time. Uh, nice to see you back here in the population, Jerib. Boom. He's another EOS maniac. You know, Horace is on, e- on EOS. Written says, uh, are you backing Digibyte? Thoughts on Digi Asset launch? Uh, no, I'm not backing Digibyte. I'm not against it. I have nothing against Digibyte. You know, we've had some people come in here in the box that they support Digibyte. I have nothing bad to say about it. I'm just not, you know, interested at this moment. And I don't know about the Digi Assets launch. So uh, I don't know, you know, I have nothing to say about that. Queens Racist says, I don't know Craig Wright has been caught lying so many times. If I said I'm Satoshi and all I have to do is move some coins, I would do it ASAP and prove everybody wrong. Yeah, at this point, guys, uh, I'm not believing that guy. Uh, yeah, I, I'm personally not believing it. So, you know, what it is what it is. And let's say he ends up being, st- let, let's say, you know, worst case scenario, he really is Satoshi. I still don't like his energy. I, I, I'm not into that. I'll be honest with you. Tyler D says, real talk, anyone that thinks BSV is the real Bitcoin and Craig Wright is the real Satoshi is a few steps away from being retarded. It's of a fork of a fork. Is that how, is that Satoshi bunch of clowns? Yeah, I agree with you, Tyler. Yeah, at this point, you know, I, you know, I don't even want, you know, I, I'm not behind it. Uh, Craig Wright is many things, but stupid is not one of them. No, he's not saying that, Zenyatta. He says that anyone that thinks that uh, BSV is the real Bitcoin is retarded. So, again, I'm not even here to argue about BSV because I'm not interested in it. So I'm not, I'm not supporting it. Uh, you guys know all the coins I'm interested in. Uh, Bitcoin number one. And uh, if you've been following our virtual community portfolio, you could see some of the coins that we've, uh, you know, invested in virtually. Queen's racist says he hopes, who hopes SV crashes and all the money goes into BCHABC. Yeah, so, you know, the consensus, at least around here, most people don't believe that, you know. Let's check out uh, what uh, FX Street is talking about here uh, regarding EOS Block 1's big announcement. Uh, this is basically the same news that I just shared from the other article. But just to reiterate, this was posted on the 29th yesterday by John Isage over there on FX Street. He says, Block 1 announcement to spark fresh interest in EOS and to keep the community excited. 3.3 million EOS tokens used to buy RAM worth... $25 million in readiness for the June 1st announcement. The official developer for EOS Software Block 1 is in the limelight again for the purchase of $25 million worth of RAM. The company spent about 3.3 million EOS tokens for the purchase of the RAM as it gets ready for the anticipated announcement scheduled for June 1st in Washington, D.C. Okay, guys. So let's see. I think Block 1's going to be live streaming and uh, this is going to be a major announcement and... Uh, According to Dan Larimer, even Trump, uh, his cabinet knows about what Block One's doing and uh, they're interested. Let's 
Shout out to Queens and Yada, Tyler D, Boom, the Bets, Bits, and the rest of the boomers out there. Uh, let's continue with this EOS news. Invest in Blockchain says EOS founder hints biggest announcement for EOS coming in June now buys back 10% of its stock. So not only did they buy $25 million worth of RAM, but Block One bought 10% back of its stock. EOS founder Dan Larimer is bullish on his project and says the biggest announcement since EOS IO is coming up in June. As previously reported, Larimer has been hinting at this big announcement since March and has been hyping it up on his EOS Telegram group. Dan says here, June will be the biggest news since EOS IO announcement. Quality over quantity. Ethereum has many developers because their solutions are overly complicated by poor initial design. So ETH better uh, get on their P's and Q's. Uh, it, it seems like EOS is the Ethereum on steroids that's coming for Ethereum's neck. And if there's any competitor right now that is viable, I believe it is EOS, guys. Adding to this EOS bullishness is Block One, the blockchain development company developing EOS software. According to a report by Bloomberg, the blockchain solution firm is now attempting to buy 10% of its stock buy back 10 percent of its stock which i think they already did indicating that the company has a positive outlook on eos and is buying in anticipation of the big eos announcement now block one the company behind eos is valued at 2.3 billion dollars at the moment so these guys are not playing you can read this uh, over there on investblockchain.com so uh, let me know what you guys think so supposedly believe uh it's going to be called meos this new social network. Maybe it's something else. Maybe it's not a social network. Maybe it's something else that's going to catch us uh, by surprise. But uh, s certainly the evidence here that uh, we've came across, the clues uh, lead us to believe that uh, they may be launching something similar to bigger and more improved than Steam, a social media network. Written says, thanks, champ. What are the top five coins you hold for June 2019? Uh, I'll show you guys the virtual community portfolio that we've been working on the past few months. A lot of companies say we have big news, then the price goes up and the announcements is shit, then the coin falls. It's a never-ending story. That's absolutely correct, Queens. Uh, you know, a lot of people have done this. And especially, I think it was like Neo did like a, a big conference not too long ago and nothing really came out of it. You know, so it is what it is. Uh, Mark D says someone has to be the Satoshi character. Craig Wright is the front runner right now. Uh, you know, if you've been following crypto, Mark, I mean, the, the Satoshi would have never gotten government entities involved. Uh, this guy is not convincing me. And comparing him to Jesus is uh, blasphemous, if you ask me. So, uh, you know, uh, I don't want to hear that. Got a bag of IOST for the matter as well. Yeah, IOST is another uh, DAP platform that's been launching a lot of gambling DAPs or whatnot, and still a baby bear token there. I think it's in the top 50, top 60. Uh, I haven't used it, but you know, I've just, it's caught my attention. I remember back when EOS hit its all-time high when they did their token swap. I was going to FOMO back then. Glad I waited until this year to bag up at a discount. And that goes to what Tyler D was asking: Is it good to uh, you know buy the rumor and then sell the news? You know. Tron gets people excited over nothing, says Tyler D. I mean, they have a community and they have a bunch of gambling dApps, but other than that, I, I don't really know uh, what they're doing. Don Coinelius, I like that name. Welcome back. He says he's got his bag of EOS. Tyler D says, uh, like fake Teslas. Boom the Bit says Craig is the definition of toxicity. Um, it def definitely seems toxic, his behavior, if you ask me. It doesn't seem uh, up to par with how S Satoshi behaved in the past. That's why I'm not believing it. Uh, Crypto Task Force says, what a power crush. Thursday, day off, and a power stream from the sergeant major of the army, Champagne. Thank you uh, to Crypto Task Force for the positive energy. Oscar says, what do you think of PIOS, EOS, and Monero technology? I, I like it. And I've noticed that the price has been going up. And I let you guys know about that air grab uh, before, you know, when... It went live. Uh, PIOS, the private EO, EOS. So some privacy there. Some They're comparing, comparing it to Monero. I re received the air grab, uh, but I haven't used it. 
Thank you, Don Cornelius. He just dropped me a dollar. Boom. Drop some ducats here in the bucket, guys. I appreciate that, Don Cornelius. Follow the leaders out here, guys. Don, uh, Queens Races. Uh, who else dropped in the bucket? Uh, Nano Joe, Boom the Bits, Rafter Man, uh, and the rest of the boomers showing love. I appreciate all you maniacs. Written says, whatever EOS launches, I think all of us can agree that we'll be the pioneers testing and reviewing it. Uh, absolutely, I agree with that one. And Crypto Task Force says, another good day in crypto. It's definitely looking like a warm summer out there. It's mostly green on the fields, green on the pasture, and all around these alternative coins, most of them seem to be eating grass-fed. So everything's looking on the up and up, guys. We've got 33 crypto maniacs in the box, uh, just about 15 lights. And, uh, you know, shoot the like button, like said, Crypto Task Force says, you know, get us up here to the top of the search results, uh, although we may be shadow banned. It certainly seems that way. Mark D says social network will be really big for EOS. I completely agree with that. I think, you know, if you haven't used Steam, uh, you need to check it out. I, I can't stress how, how important and how much it helped me understand uh, the importance of a social media when it comes to crypto as well. Uh, I know there's holes in the boat with Steam, and you know, but if they can make a new and improved one, it could be really big news, not only for EOS, but for all of crypto, I'll be honest with you. Task Force says, I've downloaded the Brave browser since 10 days. I've already browsed without tracking and data collecting. And on top of that, I have $5 worth of bat tokens. Can Chrome or Safari do that? Uh, you got a point. Uh, listen to Crypto Task Force, download the Brave browser, start earning BAT tokens, guys. It doesn't cost you anything. You don't need to share your data. In fact, uh, they are arguably protecting your data more than Chrome is. Rafterman says, hit the likes, guys. Make your voice count. Thank you so much, Rafterman. Take a few more comments and questions. I think we got the point across here. Uh, the rumor is that there's going to be a social network launched on EOS that's going to be major, major. Uh, we'll see what it really is on June 1st. Apparently, Block One's going to be live streaming the event directly from Washington, D.C. And according to what Dan said there on Telegram, and I'll show you, I'll show you this uh, on my display here. Dan said on March 28th via the Telegram that Trump's advisors know about Block One. Everyone in D.C. wants to talk with them. Okay. Furthermore, he said that they're not going to sell data to advertisers and they're not going to collect, collect data like Facebook does. So, you know, these are like hints that maybe they are going to be releasing a social media network. And if they do, you know, the champ's going to be on it like I am on Steam and I'll be posting on that as well. And hopefully they have video uh, support as well so that, uh, you know, just in case YouTube doesn't behave, uh, we can sim simply, uh, you know, use an alternative, a crypto one at that. Damn, let's check your news champ. Block One, never heard of that. Thank you, Commander. Yeah, Block One's the people behind EOS are the ones that developed that blockchain. And they're going to do a major announcement June 1st. They're in uh, Washington, D.C. So, uh, you know, that's what it is. And if you guys are around that area, I think you can go to, um, obviously, the Block One website. Or um, I'm getting most of this information via everything EOS. I know they did a good live stream last night that I checked out. Uh, where they talked to some developers and they, they basically talked about what they believed uh, it's going to be announced and they most of them think it's going to be a social media network. They're uh, organizing a meetup uh, the day before and the day of the conference. So if you guys are out there in D.C., uh, check out everything EOS on YouTube and I think they can lead, that can lead you to their Telegram or whatnot. I'm not on that Telegram, so you know I don't know the link or whatnot, but uh, I heard them talking about it. They're going to rent scooters or they're going to get together and uh, it's going to be an event where people could, you know, network. I'll take a few more comments and questions. Uh, if not, I'm out of here, guys. You know, the energy is always correct and the markets are looking uh, right and exact. Uh, it's higher than I expected. Jarib's going to the event. You know, Jarib's behind Horace Pay, and we did an interview with Jarib uh, regarding his DAP. Uh, was it a, it seems like a few months ago or maybe a year ago. Maybe we'll have you on after the event or something like that, and we could talk more about, you know, what, what's going on. Uh, but you guys check out uh, that. Uh, Jarib, could, uh, he's going to be going to the event. So, you know, let us know. Chime in here. I know Jarib comes in and out to population every once and then, and I appreciate you stopping by. Let me drop a bomb for you. 
EOS is huge, says Task Force. Don't understand why Ethereum are not making such news. Their second spot won't be here for the long term. It certainly seems that way. Theta is up 38% this week. Any reason why? Uh, you know, I don't know, but it seems like Theta's making moves. So Theta is a video platform, okay? And uh, uh, you know, I, I think it's mostly for uh, gaming, if I'm not mistaken. I was on the Theta website uh, checking it out, uh, and I think they partnered with the Samsung VR uh, video platforms as well. So they got a... Uh, let's check it out, actually, because I was, I was checking that out last night. I like video platforms with crypto and stuff like that, being that that's what I do, right? Theta's here. Uh, it's up. Let me show you the screen. It's up 1.4. And this one's in our crypto bag. So that person that I asked about my tokens, uh, you know, that I've been looking at, this one is in the bag too. So you can see Theta, they're a video platform <clears throat> and they're partnered with uh, Sliver TV. That's the name of it. So this is the uh, website. So this is kind of like a Twitch, okay? But this uh, allows you to earn... Um, Theta tokens and Theta Fuel. They also have esports on blockchain via Samsung VR. So uh, this this is a whole video platform for like 360 video or whatnot, virtual reality. And then this is a media company out of uh, Korea that they're also using uh, Theta. So uh, no, this has definitely caught my attention. So you know, being maybe that they've partnered with these entities and they're making moves, maybe that's uh, impacting the price positively. And you can see uh, who's associated with the Steve Chen, which is a co-founder of YouTube. So it seems legit. And on that note, let's go ahead and show uh, our um, community portfolio for those that are interested into the tokens that we've been uh, speculating on. And of course, this is a virtual portfolio. This is not a real portfolio, but we are treating it as such. So we're, we're doing this for educational and entertainment pur purposes. We started with about 10, 000, with exactly $10,000 just a few months ago. We got into some of the coins that we felt would be strong. And uh, we've traded some, uh, but not too many trades. And here's where we're at so that you could see. Um, our bag is worth $25,226 as of present. And uh, it consists of Bitcoin, Litecoin. Binance, Cardano, Monero, Theta, which we just talked about, Ontology, which uh, someone just said here in the box that Ontology will be moving to EOS. I don't know if that rumor is true. Wax, which is a gaming token exchange. I'm interested in that. Zero uh, X and Decentraland, which is another uh, virtual reality token. And there it is, guys. So you guys can see uh, the tokens that we've been focused on. I would uh, also add EOS to this bag. Uh, and, and even Neo, because I have that uh, in real life, not virtually. I actually got a little baby bag of both of those tokens. So, uh, you know, I would add EOS and Neo. So those are basically the tokens I've been focusing on. Um, I've been checking out crypto.com as well. Uh, that's one that's in, caught my interest. That's on my watch list. Uh, so, you know, if that could answer your question, that's basically what it is. Don Cornelius says, we got to collect some T-Fuel and figure out how to use them on the live stream champ on Theta. Yeah, that's why I was on the Theta website last night trying to figure that out. But it seems right now that it's more focused on gaming, uh, on esports. So, you know, I don't do that. So, you know, I don't know if I would be able to live stream on Switch TV. Uh, I think so, so far I'm seeing only like gamers there. So it's more like a Twitch, uh, which is cool. I mean, I think there's value there, but I'm just not a gamer. Decentraland is a long hold, probably 15 years plus, says Boom the Bits. I don't know if it's that long, but, uh, you know, I like the idea. You know, you could buy virtual land or whatnot. But, you know, uh, on, on the same token, um, that's just an ERC-20 uh, token. So, you know, how long is that going to be uh, viable there on Ethereum? Will they have to move to EOS in the future? I don't know. Champ, I want to take some profits from your community portfolio so I can buy a new motor. <laughs> there you go. At this point, we could buy a new motor. We've uh, more than doubled up. T-Fuel got listed on Binance. That's why Theta is up. There you go. Okay, that's right. You're, you're actually right. It said that on the, on the Theta website. Sliver TV is the only Theta platform now. There will be others in the future. But my understanding is that some, Samsung VR is somehow using the uh, T-Fuel as well. But yeah, it's definitely looking attractive. And that's why I put it in the bag, you know. On that note, guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, land this plane on the tarmac, put the car on park, and uh, come back tomorrow with some more good crypto news. Uh, if there's no other comments and questions, let me thank everybody out there.
that uh, showed love today and that dropped a positive comment. That's been rocking with me. You know, the champ never expected to be leading the boomers to crypto victory here with the good crypto word every single weekday. Late mornings, early afternoon, bookmark the page boomers, download the Brave browser, start earning bat tokens. Also, check out the invite to Coinbase Earn program where you can start start earning stellar tokens just by watching a video and answering a question. Uh, you know, if you haven't done that, it'll take you just a few minutes. Do it, get some free tokens. And then once you're in there, you can also watch some videos and answer some questions to earn bat, 0x, and Zcash. Okay, uh, I have an exclusive invite link to start earning stellar even if you're a member to coinbase already you got to get on a waiting list to uh start using this earn program and i have an exclusive link to uh get into the stellar earn program right down below so check that out bless the champ says uh boom the bench bless you as well queen's uh, racist says god bless you champ god bless you as well guys uh, crypto task force says champ any news about your idea about providing crypto courses i love the idea for, uh, of a side hustle people look for crypto courses especially when it gets more recognition no i haven't really built on that you know my time has been limited but you know it's, it's certainly an idea you know um and it doesn't have to be anything that complicated i think most normies out there they don't even know how to you know get a wallet they don't even know how to send a transaction uh they don't know about the exchanges i think that the uh crypto and blockchain education market could be in higher demand as the prices go up crypto task force says what happened to zug zug i cracked up yesterday uh, he was lynched yeah he was a bsv uh community maniac and uh he said some profanities at the champ and you know i don't i don't tolerate any disrespect uh we could di certainly disagree and have some debates here and we've i mean i've you know like mark d he's came in here talking about ripple and, you know, I don't like Ripple, but have I thrown out Mark D at the box? No, because he hasn't disrespected the champ. So it's all good. We don't have to agree on the tokens here. Uh, you know, revolutionists, he doesn't care about Bitcoin. He's only Cardano all day, but it's all good. We still show each other respect. Uh, but, you know, if you come here trying to disrespect the champ, uh, we'll throw you out the box. On that note, guys, thank you so much to all the boomers. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow with that good crypto word. Go ahead and check me out uh, tomorrow, guys. Enjoy your day. Stay strong. Go to the gym if you haven't. And uh, put some more weight on the bar. It's the voice of the blockchain. Here's Satoshi's biggest cousin, cryptography's finest champagne. Thanks for tuning in.